Welcome back. Let's take a look at some of the storm videos many of you are sending into the 13 WMAZ newsroom. This is video from Brittany Calhoun in Sandersville. She sent this to our Facebook page. You can just see how intense the rain and wind was in Washington County. Amazing stuff. And thank you, Brittany. Of course, the Washington County Sheriff's Office has had a busy day dealing with a whole lot of stuff. A train derailment right now is the big thing on their plate. The Norfolk Southern engine rolled over the tracks with water on them and some of the cars tipped over. Everyone's okay, but as Suzanne Lawler tells us, that train derailment capped off a very stressful day for the folks in Sandersville and Washington County. Sally delivered a punch to Washington County. Right now, there are a few dozen roads with water over them, experiencing varying degrees of damage. Sheriff Joel Cochran says that they took about 50 calls during the event, and one of them came from the Boone family. And hey, I might get hit again. I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Well, if, uh, if, if, if you see where you're having problems and you need help, you know, call 911. Water was seeping in the house. I was walking in ankle deep water. 67-year-old Jean Boone says the carpet in her home is now squishy from the natural intruder that invaded her home Thursday morning. And I sit down and cried. We're on East Lake Drive. It's a one-way in, one-way out neighborhood with a cul-de-sac. So this road is washed out. County crews hope to have the road passable by Thursday night. Emergency Management Director Russell Reiner got to work early when Sally came through. He said it all happened quickly, but the storm caused problems. Look, I've never seen this much water in Washington County at one time. I've never seen something like this before. It's crazy. Seven-year-old Weston and six-year-old Lauren had to stay behind the roped-off areas on Sun Hill Grange Road. Rapids rushed across the concrete. Yeah, I've never seen this particular uh, stream uh, this high. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. We, we have not seen that before. For Washington County Sheriff Joel Cochran, what his deputies did see from Sally were a lot of cars trying to navigate the waters without much success. Uh, we've had approximately 15 calls this morning with cars that were either shoved off the road by uh, running water or either stalled in the road. Everyone got out okay, but Sally will certainly live in folks' memories as a storm that made its power known in Washington County. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ. News. All right, thank you, Suzanne. Sally also pushed water all the way into Washington County Middle School. Superintendent Ricky Edmonds said students will not go to class in buildings tomorrow, obviously. They will, however, have class virtually. He said they came to that decision because of the issues surrounding the middle school and because of all the problems with all that water and the damage it caused to roads in Sandersville.